learning to love and respect him in the very way that he needs to be loved and respected. May he continue to know that God is always with him by the way that you choose to love I know there will come a time when you might say, but he isn't loving you. He doesn't deserve my love or mutual cooperation. And Blake, you may one day say that I don't believe you deserve to be sacrificed for me. And frankly, there are many times in life when we don't deserve the sacrifice that Jesus gave for us on the cross. But he did it anyway. Why? The Bible says again, because he chose to do so. And he chose to do so out there. And therefore, the point is not whether your husband has earned your submission or whether your wife deserves your sacrifice, but whether or not you choose to love one another the way God has called you to, has called you to. Love without condition accepts the role given by God, pursues the object of his affection, sometimes in spite of the person being loved. Clearly, unconditional love is a love of choice. The key to marital bliss is this, not that you focus on what your spouse is supposed to do for you, or your spouse's behavior toward you, but on your own God-given responsibility. Your focus should be on what God has called you to in your marriage. And let me be clear, neither of you can do this on your own. You can't muster up this love from within yourself. You must continue to learn from God and allow it to overflow out of your and into each other's. But Blake, you obey God and love Amber sacrifice. And Amber, you obey God and love Blake and submissive. You will complete God's love in each other's life and be an example of God's love in others. Then your marriage will be the way that God is. Let's pray together. God, we ask that you would bless Amber and Blake. As they come before this gathering to affirm the choice of each other as partnership. Strengthen their commitment and love for each other. And give them the patience and love they will need to overcome the trials they will face. We pray to you, Father, for whom your whole family in heaven on earth rises. We pray that out of your glorious riches, you will strengthen Blake and Amber with power of your spirit and an inner being. So Christ may dwell in their hearts through them. And we pray that they be rooted and established in love may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge. That they may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. And we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. And we have one. Amen. <laughs>
life on the woman's life. Just as she gives you these things, you must follow Christ and take Loving her sacrificially in the same way that Christ loved the church. You vow here, and you promise to You will be true in the Lord, patient in sickness and comforting and sorrow, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only in the earth so long as you love Oh, 